ChatGPT has a new update, which allows us to start leveraging GBTs in a more intuitive way with this new mention feature. So in today's video, we're gonna see how we can start leveraging this. One example is gonna be using diagrams and creating presentations with another GBT, finding trails and leveraging the kayak plugin to create entire itineraries for trips and so on. Let's see how we can start making this work for us. This new update got released yesterday. I got a bunch of DMs. I got a bunch of messages in my Twitter. I know, I know it got released. I'm wearing a backwards hat today because if you know me and you know this channel, all we do is A-B test for the content. Who knows? Is this content going to perform better because I'm wearing a backwards hat or is it not? Who knows? We keep changing it up here, but this is my Twitter. Make sure to go follow us in the description down below by that little Twitter emoji or just a bird emoji. Let's go and jump into today's video and see what we can do with this new feature. So the first thing I want to point out is in order to even access this new feature, we just had to put an at symbol. And then this is going to allow us to basically select GBTs that are recent slash pin GBTs. Now, here comes the first issue when using this new function is if you're searching for a specific GBT and you haven't used it before in the past, it's not going to show up. So let me give you an example real quick. Let's say I know about this tutor me one. It exists, but I've never opened a chat with it, but I try to reference it in a chat. This is what happens. So I'm coming over here. I'm like, ah, okay, I need tutor me. Where is it? Where is it? it, it for some reason, uh, I think they do this actually so that it doesn't just absolutely explode the search query. So in order to make it show up though, it's a very simple solution. All you're going to need to do is simply open a chat with it. And then what I like to do is if I want to leverage this in multiple contexts, I'll just hit test here. And once I hit test, it will load it in and be like, yo, you've used this in your profile before. Therefore we can reference it in future chats. So if I hit at now, I do tutor. There we go. First troubleshoot we just solved. Now let's actually start using this thing and seeing how we can leverage it. So the first thing I was thinking of and when I was playing around with it is it became very clear to me that the use case of this long term is kind of what we saw if you're familiar with the plugins and the entire plugin playlist I did where you enabled multiple plugins. In that context, we were limited to three plugins, plus we couldn't interchange the plugins. So with this though, we can do whatever the heck we want and we can just basically jump in with different GBTs depending on the context of what we're trying to create. This is early stages still, but this is super cool. So for example, let's do this. We're gonna do at, I'm gonna use diagram, show me, I did a whole video on this if you wanna check it out. And as you see, that's when it's enabled. We're gonna simply say, make a diagram of the corporate structure. Hit enter here, first GBT on the go. So once we have our cool little diagram here, and I'll actually just reference the video right there if you wanna check it out, it's in the top right, that little thing that goes boop. You can click it if you want to see a whole video on this, because this is a pretty powerful plugin or GBT. We can start referencing other GBTs. So I was thinking in my head, I'm like, okay, well, what context would I use a diagram well, let's just look at other GBTs. And what I found was SlideMaker. I'm like, okay, well, let's see what happens when we do SlideMaker. So the first thing I tried here was I tried to basically have it reference the um, data without downloading the image. That didn't seem to work too well. So what I did then was I simply downloaded the PNG. Once the PNG has been downloaded, I'll attach it to the chat. Here's the thing though. With this output, you'll notice is that it's gonna give us an output. It's gonna reference the material I provided, but sadly, it's not gonna use the image yet. Obviously, we could just simply download the image and then put it into the presentation. But I wanted to show you this because this is kind of like where we're going towards creating entire presentations, creating entire workflows using this at feature. But for now, I'm just going to simply say, make a three slide presentation based off this image Hit enter, proceed. Alternative, if we didn't have this at feature, we would have to create two separate chats in order to do this kind of workflow. I'm going to hit confirm here. And there we go. We got our presentation. I'm going to click this link. It's going to bring us to their front end. I did not want to try your long document. No, thank you. And then let's go and see what it looks like. So as you'll notice, and that was a diagram as a corporate structure, right? Executive leadership, technology, innovation, financial market. It wasn't able to use the image yet. But what I want you to take note of as this is all early stages here is the fact that I could just say, make a three slide presentation based off this image. Did I mention corporate structuring in that prompt? No. Therefore, this thing is smart enough to understand image context as we know in the past, but use it and leverage it in other forms, such as creating a GBT that creates slides. Early stages still pretty cool. Knowing that, that's early stages to a cool workflow that will incur in the future. We can also use other workflows. So for example, if I just want to travel to somewhere, let's just say I want to go to Austin, Texas. I'm going to use the Trails app because maybe, you know, I'm an avid hiker. I'm like, can you give me the best spots to hike in Austin, Texas. So we're getting our first output here. As we know, we actually did, I did a whole video on all trails as well. You can check that out as well. Um, we're going to get different contexts. This is a pretty good UI specifically when dealing with ChatGPT. 
and we're going to get a couple of different trails here. So let's say by the end of this output, I'm like, you know what? I want to go to Austin, Texas. This is pretty cool. I can go ahead and go to kayak and be like, can you, based on my budget, plan out a trip to Austin, Texas? And then what I like to do, y'all, is I like to do this budget. Let's say uh, 2000 USD for origin San Francisco. And then we can say need hotel that is near. And then we do semicolon. And then here I'm like, you know what? I like this trail. I'm gonna go like this. Command C, Command V, enter. See what I'm trying to get out here? This is all early stages, of course. But the idea here is that now we're not limited and fixated into, I'm just gonna say allow, fixated into three plugins and it's just a stagnant chat post of three. Now we can just, I could technically do an entire chat with 10 different plugins. I could do 10 different features that are just basically accessing data outside of ChatGPT itself. Therefore, really creating expedient workflows that we'll definitely jump into later this year, later this month, later this week. So make sure to subscribe, it's completely free. And this kind of wraps up today's video in showcasing how to leverage this new GPT feature and the other stages of it. What do y'all think of this new feature? Yes, no, step in the right direction. I still want the GPT store to be improved. Whatever it may be, that playlist right there is going over everything we need about GPTs. That video may or may not be good for your taste. And then that's my face.